is Fox News Alert. A federal appeals court has upheld the block on President Trump's travel ban from seven Muslim-majority countries. The past year and a half, of course, has given ample proof that the president is not deterred by a setback, even those that would have destroyed more timid politicians. It's no surprise, then, that he immediately vowed to fight on, ironically saying he would see the court in court. Has the president finally found a fight that he can't win? And where do we go from here? To tell us, we're joined by columnist and Fox News contributor, Dr. Charles Krauthammer. Charles, thanks all for joining us. So what exactly is the court saying here? I'm trying to understand what the key, the central objection to the president's executive order is. Look, I think this is a disgraceful conclusion because what they did is they substituted their judgment as to what constitutes a threat to American security for the president's. Now, we were all interested in what they think, but that is irrelevant to the case. The case was, does the president have the authority to do it? And if he does, it's his judgment to make. And that's the plain reading of the law. It's the plain understanding of the Constitution. I think the, pre I think the policy was unwise, but that's irrelevant. Right. I think it is very clearly legal. This is the most left-wing, most overturned court in the country. So I think for the administration, and considering that uh, Trump does not like to lose, I think he may want to go to the Supreme Court, which may not be the most tactically wise way to go. But you know that he tweeted out, see you in court? Well, I'm told that yes. the governor of, of Washington State just tweeted out, we did go to court and you lost. Now that is sure to get a rise out of the president. And I suspect sure. out of a matter of pride, he's going to want to go to the Supreme Court, where I think his chances may be dicey. So I'm, there's just no slam dunk, even though I think if we had a full court, if we had Scalia or uh, if we have the new justice, he would win. But we're not sure where it goes. Remember, as you know, Tucker, if the high court splits four to four, then the ruling of the Ninth Circuit, the one we got tonight, stands and the president loses. Now, there, I've heard some speculation about the case that the Justice Department lawyers, the career attorneys from DOJ, made before the appeals court. And I've heard a number of people, attorneys, say it wasn't a very apt case. They didn't do a very good job, and they seemed a little light on detail. And at one point they were asked, well, name the threat. Be more specific about the threat that the U.S. may face from these seven countries. And, and they, they didn't seem to have the facts with them. Do you think it's possible that they didn't make a very good case and that they didn't make a good case because they don't believe in the case? Well, on the first question, I was listening in to the oral arguments. And the Trump side, the, the, the federal government side, was, I thought, exceedingly weak. I don't think they yes. were throwing the game. I don't think this is a guy who went in there deliberately to lose. I think this was a junior guy, I'm told the top two, uh, were unable to do it for whatever reason, had to recuse themselves. Uh, and remember, I think this is a mistake, a tactical error by the administration. You don't go into a, into a, a decision like this, executive order like this, where you know you're going to get sued. You know you might get stayed uh, unprepared. They did it before having an attorney general in place, so they are dependent on the career people who are not necessarily the top of their class. I don't think this is a guy who was playing uh, the 1919 uh, White Sox throwing the World Series. I think he just wasn't, he was a minor leaguer who was, you know, had to bat in the World Series.